Hey guys, so here's this 52 inch Captain Bay Jellico 2 ceiling fan. I really like this fan a lot because the uplight and the beautiful shiny fan. I really like the glossy blades. I like the oak glossy blades. So, bus bus and rosewood. It was facing down the rosewood when I got it, but I decided to flip it to the oak side. I just like to see what the oak looked like. It does really look good, so that's why I flip them to oak. Because I've seen a couple of fans with um, rosewood blades, I decided to do oak this time. <clears throat> I really like these uh, light shades, the up light especially. Yeah. The down light controls, it has a three way pull chain. First, it turns these two on. Second, it turns these two on. And then, third, it turns all of them on. Yeah. And then, this chain goes to the up light. It has. It has five watts incandescent bulbs up there. They're really dim. They're kind of like night light bulbs. Yeah. These bulbs right here, all four bulbs are 40 watts. But these are chandelier types. These two. And these are regular type. Yeah. There are a couple of parts that are not original to this fan. The three switch housing screws were missing. That uh, bottom of a switch screw. One thumb screw. Um, two mounting bracket screws. But there's four mounting bracket screws, but two is missing. Yeah. There were a couple of screws that were missing from the fan. I gotta get I had to get new ones. And this light chain is not original because the it was replaced with an old one because the old light chain wasn't working properly. Um, it only works on all four bulbs setting. It didn't work on the uh, two-way setting because it, it turns off when you let go of the chain. But... We go to all lights, it's, it works fine on all lights. So that's why I had to get a new chain. I got a new chain from Lowe's today. Yep, a three-way pull chain. And it works great now. And I do have a video of this fan testing out with a no chain. Here it is. Yep. This fan included four five watts incandescent night light bulbs. On the top. I don't know if y'all can see on the bottom. Maybe y'all can see on the bottom. Well it's pretty hard to see the bulbs, so yeah the the night light ones, they're small and they're woolly dim. But when I test the bulbs out, one burn out, so I had to get a new one, and it's on this door right here. That's where the bulb burn out, but the other three still works. Yeah. Had to get a new bulb on that side. And the down light, it did not come with bulbs, so I got new ones. New clear bulbs. Incandescents. It... It does have three original Hampton Bay pole chains. That's cool to see. And they're short. Yeah. It worked really hard on this fan. The top was, uh, the top was tarnished. And I brass cleaned it and it looks shiny now. And I also brass cleaned the screws too. All of those screws. 
I blast clean them. Yeah. I also blast clean the that side of the switch housing because it was, it was scratchy, but I decided to blast clean them, and there's no scratches at all. And I blast clean the blade brackets too. Those are the only parts I blast clean. The side of the switch housing, the blade brackets, and the top housing. I blast clean them. Yeah, this fan looks really good at all speeds. It has a good capacitor. Yeah. And I also do have pictures of before and after the tarnish that I shiny this fan with, with the blast cleaner. Here are the pictures. Yep, fan works really good on all speeds. The downlight and the uplight works really good. But this fan wobbles a lot on high. It's because one blade was, let me show you all that. It's this one right here. That blade bracket was extremely bent. It was really bent. Right here, it was all the way over here. That's where the blade was. It was all the way over here, and I bent it. It's still a little bit bent. It's supposed to be like all the way to here, at the top. This would be all the way to here, but I tried my best, and it's still a little bit bent, and it left a little dent right there. Yeah, and I do have the. Uh, I do have a picture. At Habitat, where I found the fan, it was bent. Yeah. At first, I thought that uh, blade or the bracket was taken off, but nope, it was on. It was really bent, and I tried my best bending it back to shape, and I did. It, it bent back to shape without breaking. That's really good. Well, it's still a little bit bent. It's supposed to be up here, like I said. But, yeah, I bent all, all the blades back to shape. And some of the blades were bent when I saw this fan and I bent them back. And this one's still a little bit bent, but that's all right, and that's probably why it wobbles a lot, because of that. Yeah, and one more thing also, brass clean the pull chains. I brass clean them. Except that, except that switch right there, it's brand new. Yeah, I brass cleaned them. They look good. And the fobs too. But anyways, I'm about to demonstrate this fan. Here we go.